Honda will undoubtedly look back on the ninth generation Civic, that unlovable lump of cheapness, as a lesson in continuous improvement. In so repeatedly flexing its renowned rapid product development muscle overhauling the all-new 2012 Civic just a year later and then adding substantial equipment including a new transmission for 2014 Honda has surely grown stronger. It certainly righted the ship from a business standpoint. Civic sales boomed over the past three years, even if enthusiasts, ourselves included, haven't much praised the product of Honda's face-saving efforts. Yet this is not the sort of company to content itself with P-O-P-U-L-A-R-I-D-Y. Honda has traditionally sought critical acclaim as well, with cars that are more like Spielberg films than blockbusters from Michael Bay. Resembling nothing so much as a shrunken Accord Cross Hour, this sedan only appears to be a hatchback. Additional body styles, including a coupe and a four-door hatchback, also will be available. And the new Civic rides on a platform that will be shared with the next Accord. As with other recent Hondas, the top-of-the-line Civic is now called Turing. It's an aft moniker for a car that plants all four tires on the practical side of a compact segment continuum that ranges from the appliance like Toyota Corolla to the Apex Predator Volkswagen GTI. But this is also to say that the new Civic is well planted. Among its remedies to the outgoing model are the abilities to go and turn quite well. A new 1.5-liter four-cylinder available in the pricier trims makes 174 horsepower at 6,000 rpm. Fitted with a single-scroll turbocharger pumping up to 16.5 psi of boost, its 162 pound-feet of toward makes it a small displacement Honda engine with heretofore unheard of grunt from a stoplight. The power is felt but not heard. The engine's voice caught by the turbocharger and the new car's extensive sound isolation. Lesser Civics get a naturally aspirated 2.0 liter with only 158 horsepower, which still shames last year's 143 HP 1.8 liter 4. The 1.5 liter engine, the first turbo the Honda brand has offered here in the car, is good enough to speed the 2924 round 2016 Civic from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.8 seconds, cutting two seconds off the old car's run. Spoiler alert! The Civic performs this feat with a continuously variable transmission top between its crankshaft and constant velocity joints. At least the Serial T mostly behaves itself, with the turbo for 1,700 to 5,500 rpm toward plateau keeping it from chasing the ends of the turbometer with your right foot's every twitch. There is some turbo lag from a standing start, but once Red's build